Hi, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub and in this quick video we'll see how to apply a gradient background on any block in Gutenberg. Gutenberg uh, itself allow you to set a solid background on different blocks like this one ha on the button you can set a solid color but you cannot uh, select or set a gradient background by uh, by using the default options uh, and on the code actually on the code you cannot apply any background there are no options uh, for for the background color by default so on different elements it has some uh, uh, on different blocks there, there are some options to adjust you get the color setting and have a background color but yet it is limited to solid color only so let's see how we can apply custom gradient to any Gutenberg block uh, either it has a color option or not so uh, for that you first need to uh, need you need a CSS code and we just use some online CSS gradient generator like this one I'm showing you which is a CSS gradient.io I will provide the link in the description uh, I've tried different uh, CSS generators or gradient generators out there and there are many available uh, but this one uh, is something visually more better to me so I use this so you can as you can see you can easily create a gradient the way you like you can change the color there are currently three colors so as you can see if I click here and adjust the color adjust the color it will apply there so uh, this way you can adjust your gradient you can visually create your gradient and you can even select these uh, available presets here if you are lacking some ideas and you can create a linear gradient or a radial gradient as you can see and even if you are uh, not uh, getting your hand on how to create a using this generator there are also they also provide you some other options like on the swatches section on the website they have some ready-made gradient swatches or gradient codes for you so you simply can uh, utilize any of these uh, like if I will show you uh, if you need this one I can simply click on this and it will copy the code so now we need that code basically or, or, and if you are generating it from the main page you see you get the code from here on the bottom and we can use this code on in our on our block using the CSS now I for let me show you I just click here to copy the code and I go to my blog and let's say I'm on the button first I'll show you on the code now I'm using uh, to apply a CSS to a blog I have already created a tutorial earlier I will provide the link in the description and that explores different ways and I'm using um, the way is using the CSS extension uh, plugin which I have also mentioned in there this plugin adds a nice little custom CSS box on every block like this one and we can simply uh, paste our code here and you can see as I paste the code the gradient which I created here and get the code has been applied here nicely now we need to uh, make some adjustment the text is on the black uh, is uh, having a black color obviously which is uh, not looking good on this background so I can simply write more CSS here uh, to adjust the color so I will write color and you can write white or hash FFF to make it a white color simple so you need uh, a little bit uh, obviously if you are using it this way you need to know a little bit of CSS also like now I don't I need some padding also so I can provide some padding also pixel but it's not just pixel and important sometimes uh, some CSS property does not get applied in the editor due to due to uh, uh, the priority or uh, it is not being overwritten by the default CSS so you can use this hash uh, exclamation mark important uh, at the end and as you may know already so this gets applied so let's this looks a little bit better now I can apply more styles obviously and make it uh, look more better so let's try 
it on the media block now so if i will create uh, another one i'll just for this time i'll go to switches and pick a light background like this one i click on here and copy and on the media block make sure you are selected a media block and and then go to the custom css box and let's try to edit here and as you can see the nice gradient background has been added nicely now uh let's try it on the button block and there i need to show you something so let's try this one for the button now if i go to custom css and apply the background code it does not get applied now the reason may be this background color you need to make sure it's clear but it, it still does not get applied it it basically because this selector if you know a little bit serious on some blocks you might need to target uh, a child element as this selector here if i show you by inspecting the code and you need to know a little bit of uh, coding obviously for this so now as you can see the css class this which adds this class is being added to the main block like this and in the other cases it works fine because the that is the main block and that the background applies to it and that's fine but here because the button already has a default background so it is not being overwritten here and or or or, or we need to target some something specific so in this case i see there is a div which has the background color actually if i close this it still has a default background so what i can what i need to do is i need to target this divs class so you need to target something specific which also uh, display here and on the front end as well so in this case i have already checked and this wp button link is the class i need to target so i'll just copy this class and add it by giving a space and dot and here i need to also provide important and this works now for the text color uh, button block already it itself has the color option for the text color so i can get, give it a black or blue or whatever you like so this is it this is how you can easily apply gradient background on any Gutenberg block easily without any additional plugin except this CSS plugin which uh, is a multi-purpose plugin obviously this is not for this use case so I'll just publish it and show you how it looks on the front end uh, here you go the button gradient has been applied it is applied it is the same as well so there you go how this is how easy it is to apply custom gradient uh, background and for the code for the css code you can come uh, across or research for a better uh, css gradient generator you can google it by writing the css gradient generator and you might come up uh, to a better tool from uh, as compared to this one so and you can obviously get the, C, uh, the this gradient code from anywhere and this is the way to apply it to the Gutenberg block any Gutenberg block hope you like it thank you for watching